Hello everyone and welcome to a brand new episode of Minecraft Legends, well, the first episode actually of his brand new series, um, now I'm not sure uh, what will happen with the other video that's supposed to be in the Tuesday rotation which is Bug Fables, I might do a dual upload because I actually really want to play this and I cannot wait, plus it's new and you know, oh, new story mode. Right, this game has a story mode. The button, the, the, the controls are weird with this because it's the strategy game, but it uses the um the controller rather than the mouse. Hello. I hope you're feeling okay. That kind of trip always upsets my stomach. <laughs> Thank you for having the courage to come. I am foresight. I'm action. And I'm knowledge. I wish we had met under different circumstances, but this world is under attack, and we need your help. Foul creatures known as the Piglins have emerged from their fiery home, and they mean to conquer this peaceful land and all the creatures that live here. We need your help to make sure that doesn't happen. But don't worry, you won't be alone. Behold, I always wanted to say that. <laughs> we present to you... Gifts! <laughs> I think I skipped the cutscene. The LAs will gather your resources, keep them safe for you, and build whatever you need. Within this case, burn the flames of creation. The flames will call upon friends to fight by your side. These golems helped us shape the overworld, and now they will help you defend it. And last. But not least, this is the banner of courage. Raise it high, and this world will rise to your aid. The piglins' hunger is insatiable. They already have a foothold in the overworld. And if they are not stopped, they will devour everything. We didn't prepare the creatures of our world for this day. But we believe you can. That's why we called upon you. If there is any hope, it's you. Yeah, I think I skipped an important cutscene because I... <laughs> We don't have much time, but just enough to show you a thing or two about these tools. Okay, tutorial. I skipped an important cutscene because uh, when I launched the game, something was playing and I press a button. So the sooner you master these tools, the better. Head over to okay. Action and we'll get started. Okay, so this just pl plays like regular Minecraft, it seems. At least when it comes to the movement actions. Like I can jump. Left stick. Oh. I, I always get confused because of the way Xbox lays their things. Like... That would be L3 for me, like, if you... If... Great! Oh. Now let's get to work. The overworld is filled with resources you can gather to help you fight the piglins. Right. That's where the LA's come in. Play the Just right like regular Minecraft. Melody, and they'll gather anything for you. Let's start by playing the melody to gather wood. Okay, how do I do that? Uh, left trigger to halt to enter build mode. Right Take move until the gather zone shows up when it overlays a resource. Press RT to confirm the placement of the gather melody. Okay, that's that's a lot of information. Mop until the gather show gather zone shows up when it overlays a resource. Okay. And then press RT to confirm. I think I under oh so I don't destroy things like in regular Minecraft. It's the LAs that do it. Is and use your loot to gather some stone. How many LAs can I have? Reach action, you're the glowing being of light. Okay. The stone. This time play the melody for gathering stone. I'll be okay. Mm 
right bumper, left bumper. Select. Okay, I'm. Oh, there we go. That was kind of confusing. Uh, position the gather zone. Right. So I'm assuming around. It's weird because I'm using the stick instead of the the mouse. I I don't think the mouse would be a better idea to play this. Now you've got the resources you need. That's step one. Step two is playing the melody that will inspire the LAs to build what you need. Hey, build some stairs so you can come and join me up here. It's really cool seeing these new blocks. Like, it makes me wonder what mothers will do with the assets from this game. Okay, oh. Ramp. Village, okay. Uh, okay, so press the D-pad to navigate to the building hotbar. Hold to enter build mode. You know the platforms the elite RT... can be used to stairs too. Yeah. It depends on how you look at it. Thank you. Press RT to start placement, rack up the ramp. Uh, okay. Can I just do this better? Okay, yeah. I absolutely can. Uh, wait. Oh, this is a nice little build. Remember, you have all the tools you need to build a staircase using a platform. Yeah, thank well you. Done. Stairs are going to save you a lot of time out there. You'll use flames of creation to call your friends to battle. Lapis will keep these flames burning bright. Take some from that chest to play a spawner melody. Oh, Lapis Lassily has a use here. X to open the chest. I'm not used to X. Now, you just tell me square. Flames. Use the spawner melodies to call the golems you met earlier. Okay. Okay. There we go. The combat hot bar. Confirm the placement of the spawner. I don't know where they want me to place this. Like right there. <gasps> Great. Each Look at this. Of creation that will call upon your allies. Call them. Call oh, them I out. can use. I can use B to attack. Uh, X to hold. Hold X to spawn golems while standing near a spawner. Each spawn mob takes up a flame of creation as long as they exist. Okay. Spawn. Nice. The golems are new to battle, but they'll okay. rally behind you. Use the banner of courage to bring your friends over to me. The banner of courage. Okay. That's this is interesting. It's like Pikmin. If you want the golems to stop following you, use your banner again to ask them to stop. Okay. Nicely done. There we go. That's there you go. interesting. You can also use the banner to send your friends in any direction you want. Send them over to action. Okay, why? Wait, I'm missing a golem, I feel like. Oh yeah, six of them. Okay, now... Do I hold Y? It doesn't seem like I hold it. It seems like it's limited to an area. The idea of piglins inside the Well of Fate is terrible. So we've created some false piglins so you can practice using the banner in combat. Right. Press extra rally your soldiers. 
To rally your um, constructs to the piglins, press Y to direct your columns to destroy the piglins. Press V to attack piglins with your sword. Okay. There we go. You've done it. Now take everything you've learned here into the real fight, and the piglins won't stand a chance. It is good that you are ready, as I must ask we get moving. Okay. One of the villagers has just been attacked. Oh no. Quickly, come with us. We'll get you out into the world. Okay, should I spawn more of these guys? So we have three of them, which would we would need seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Now I have all these gold oh, constructs. I I heard that using the column word is a bit um, insensitive towards certain people. Um, I'm not really sure if it is, but I ho I I really hope I wasn't insensitive. The game is not insensitive to people. Thank you again for your courage. We are honored to have you as an ally. We'll be with you every step of the way. <laughs> Horse. Zombies are stuff. Your songbook has information about everything you come across in the world. I feel like that loading screen should have a better transition. Like, is it just blinking for you guys? Because for me, it's just blinking black and doing that. This is a very pretty game. Birds, villagers. Wait, the villagers have the gray skins from the pillagers. That's pretty interesting. Welcome to our world. We would love to introduce you properly, but a village needs your help. Please go to them. You have a compass okay. and a map. Use them to okay. make sure you're going in the right direction. Okay, this is pretty interesting. Because normally Minecraft doesn't have a compass and it makes me wonder if some of the features in this game could be added to future updates. Well, Minecraft does have a compass, but We've it's provided an you item. Starting resources, but remember that the LAs can gather more for you while you make your way. Okay. Busy LAs or happy LAs. Okay, that's pretty interesting because I'm, I'm gathering resources while I'm so far away. Oh yeah, I'll need lapis. So it's good that I'm placing these there. Right, so this is a new type of wood. That's a llama. Okay, so I got the extendable hall, ramp, gate, arrow, tower, carpeting, heart, cobblestone golems, cobblestone constructs. I should use a better term than the game, just in case it's sensitive. Like, uh, I heard that construct is a good term, although automata or android would be better, I don't know. Because they are magical in nature, but, you know, they are not really golems 
in the in the way that the ones from the Jewish religion are like they don't come alive to protect well they do come alive but it's not magical and it's not the same way so even if hurry. the piglins are relentless so even if you said they were inspired they don't really take that much inspiration that's the village get over Those, there quickly uh, okay Oh no! Oh my god, they are... They, they, those piglins are so cute despite how deadly they seem to be. That's a fox! They are pretty dumb. Monsters must be stopped. Quickly, quickly! You have to get rid of all the piglins. Okay. Lapis dropped by the piglins can be used to fuel your spawners. Collect the lapis to keep your fires burning. Okay. I gotta get used to the controls of the game. So uh, the, the, the advantage of this game is that I can use myself as a unit. While in, for example, I don't think in Age of Empires you could use yourself as a unit. At least not in most cases. Okay. So where are the piglins? There we go. We freed everyone. Wait, that was a badger. I like how you can tell the the cutscene surrendered the in the engine. But the village is devastated. The piglins have ruined the fountain. A carpenter hut will repair nearby structures. Get the LAs to work building one for you. Okay. Oh, this. So this is just like regular Minecraft in a way. Well, in a sense, you know, not in a way. Okay. Can I all oh, I can rotate? That's great. I want to place this there. Oh, look at them building it. This is way more advanced than regular Minecraft builds. Okay. I already built the carpet. Oh, in the beam of light. Right. What a relief! The water flows again. Oh, I didn't have to put it in the beam of light. That's interesting. The piglins are mounting an attack on another village. Okay. There is no time to waste. The villagers need you. Where are my other golem uh, automatas? I gotta get used to not calling them the G word because if it really is offensive, that's a bad look on me. Okay, so gather wood and stone. Okay. I wonder what resources we can get from this game. Because like we are getting stone. Remember, your map and compass will show you the way. 
And we get Lapis. Okay. More images in the well. Is it our hero? Another village, it seems. And more piglins. Not again. Should we go warn them? As much as it hurts our hearts to see this happen, we must trust that our hero will see them through it. That's Lapis. Oh, that's another type of piglin. Okay. Okay, so I gotta stop them from destroying the fountains. You have to defeat the piglins attacking the village. We can't. Okay, so I defeated them, I think. It's interesting that I can use the. the are gone. Oh my god, I'm burning. We thank you. And the villagers oh, want to thank you too. Go to the village chest at the base of the fountain for a surprise. Okay, open chest. The villagers are who want to help where they can. As gratitude, you can count on their resourcefulness to keep you in the fight. They'll keep gathering materials for you while you're out saving the day. Okay. The piglins are rallying on the outskirts of the village. I think another attack is on the way. Better build up some defenses while there's still time. Okay. Build the fences around the village. Well to defend this village. Okay. That's interesting what you can build. You need to get some defenses up around the village. Yeah, I'm doing so. Shut up. Gate Rotate Okay There's still some time to gather up resources if you're getting low But be quick Bolt the um, Okay Extendable wall No wait yeah. Whoa. The piglins are close. Don't forget, your golem friends want to help too. They're almost here. Oh, I can't watch this. Shut up. I'm doing my best. Okay. The piglins are here. Brace yourself. Where around. are they? They like I never got to see them on the map, I don't think. More piglins approaching. The piglins will attack from all sides. So be sure to check your compass to see where they're coming from. Okay. Okay. Okay, they are still coming from here. Okay, they now they are coming from here. Okay. Okay. It's pretty interesting that I alone can probably handle them. Where are they? Oh, I did I get rid of them? You're doing great. Just a little longer and you've got this. Okay. 
More piglins! <gasps> it's the piglins! Hurry, the villagers need your help right now! Okay, can I recruit more animals in stuff? Oh, I can recruit chickens. Where are the piglins? Okay. I can probably handle them by myself. It's good that, it, they, that I built towers. The attack is over. Okay. I can recruit animals. That's something I should remember. You've done it! <laughs> Village saved! We knew you'd do it. The villagers are thrilled that you defended their fountain. They've put some extra resources in the chest for you as a special thank you. You are doing well. The piglins do not give up easily. Even now, they prepare an attack upon another of our villages. But this time, we have the advantage. If you can shut down the piglin outpost surrounding the village, we might be able to push back this invasion. Okay. Okay, I'm recruiting animals. Which I think should help me. Because, like, look at my army. Wait, can I only have a limited amount of people? Yeah, it seems so. That's interesting to know. Oh, the swamps. Just like in normal Minecraft, there's swamps. Okay. It's interesting. They drown? Drown? It's interesting to know that just like in regular Minecraft. Oh, what's this? Oh. This will be useful. I think. No, I cannot encounter that material, at least not yet, I don't think. What's this? Oh, that's just a. Where are the piglins? Oh, okay, I cannot place the gather resources thingy everywhere. Right stick. Okay. Combat melodies. Oh. Prismarine piglins. Oh, this is pretty fascinating. Okay. And if I look at this, where am I? Oh, there I am. Okay. Never spreaders. The pollution they create makes the air breathable for the piglins. Okay, so this is pretty interesting. Because this means that... Ok, 
Okay. Can I? I cannot attack that. Okay. Nether spreader. Just destroy that thing. I'll deal with the piglins myself. Oh, some of her thingies died. Animals are dying. That's what that's what I no, didn't notice. Okay. So the map Okay. That's pretty interesting to know. That pretty good, I should say. Creeper. Oh man. Interesting. The world is waking to the war. Where will this lead? Creepers. Right, so where's the map? Okay. Okay, so if we go from, oh my God. We have cats. Zoom in, right trigger. There we go. Okay. So we are gathering our troops. Lava? Here? We clearly underestimated their capacity for corruption. Remember the ramps you built with us at the well? They don't only have to go up. RCLA is to build you a bridge across that moat. Okay. Okay, that's pretty interesting to know. You're through the wall. There's nothing standing between you and those barracks. Except for a few piglins. Poor medic. Pretty interesting to know that they have medics. Oh my god. Right.
Some some more of our troops are dying. Okay. They are afraid of those things, it seems. But the enemies doesn't seem to be very smart. We won! Very good. There is still one more outpost, however. So, ramp. Okay. Yeah, lace are pretty useful. Okay. So the jungle. Okay, so I can take fall damage. That's good to know. Can I still not mind the, the redstone? Okay. I cannot mind the... Oh my god. That thing blends in too well with the ground. What's the turtle doing in the snow? That, that's what I wonder. Okay. I hate to admire their engineering, but those blaze rod towers are pretty dangerous. And their range is impressive. The LAs will help you get up there with a ramp. All you have to do is play the right melody. Right. So they have blaze rods as weapons, which is pretty interesting to note. Tomatas are really good at dealing with these towers. Okay, so they they seem to be pretty good at dealing with the towers in general. So we cleared these outpost. Apply the right pressure and even the tallest tower will fall. Creeper is back, and they brought a friend. Skeleton. What do you think they'll do? We will find out soon enough.
Is this the origin of why there are hostile mobs in the world? After defeating all those outposts, you've collected quite a bit of prismarine. Bring it to me at the will of fate, and I'll show you how to build something that will be very useful for you. Okay. You are attuned to the waters of the well. Zoom out. You can travel here quickly, anytime you wish. Okay. I need to go into my settings. Because for some reason there's a horizontal inverted um, axis and I hate that. Build view, banner view. Oh my god, where's the map? Camera sensitivity, wrench door launcher, build view, sprint. What? Is there no way to turn off the invert because here look I'm moving left right okay for some reason sometimes it inverts my controls okay hey I think I see one of knowledge's old power towers over there oh I can fast See right there, I'm moving, it's inverted, but, oh, that's weird. Recall Tiger. Okay, so I can just fast travel, that's good to know. The audio cut off there, kind of weirdly. Knowledge? What are you doing out there? I'm working on a little something extra to help the hero. Musk golems. Automatas. I, I need to get not used to the way this, you know. What do you think? <laughs> they are perfect. They won't be as friendly with the piglins. I assure you that. Okay, okay, go on now. Join your new friends. You two little one, go on. So they sprinkle water. The mossy and grindstone golems are excited to join you, but you'll need a special resource to build them. I've written the melody for you. You'll just need to build the right improvements. Okay. Open your so a songbook, right stick. Very nice. This is where all the wonderful melodies you learn. Look, the spore medic. Now go ahead and turn the pages. Hold on. Allies use wood to build structures. It would be a bit silly to explain where it comes from. Stone is required to build moderate and advanced structures like stronger village fortifications. You can find stone pillars and deposits in most biomes. Lapis is what frees the flames of creation, allowing you to spawn golems and mobs. It is obtained from roaming piglins and may also be stuck in village chests. Lapis is the main reason why you should keep every piglin you see a good walking, not that you need more reasons. So this is interesting, because in regular Minecraft you use Lapis to enchant stuff. So this means that the automatas require some amount of Lapis, which is kind of interesting because in the regular gameplay the iron automatas don't really require you to use lapis to make them come to life but enchantments do prismarine can only be obtained from destroying piglin structures and is used to build upgrade structures that default will fade so how did the the fucking villagers obtain prismarine if it's only obtained from destroying piglin structures that makes no sense Okay, not only the uh, overworld and settlements, locations of pickling bases and movements. Allays of music. The loot allows you to play different melodies to ask them to do various tasks like gathering or building. The banner of courage rushes power from whoever wills it. In the right hand seat is the symbol of unity and hope. The flames of creation signify the unity between you and your allies and are used to call upon them to fight by your side. Uh, not much is known about where the allies keep what they gather for you, but they can definitely store a great amount of resources. So this is like an ender chest. But better. 
Masons are the weakest piglins, but they make up for this with their numbers and their ferocious determination. To rise up to the ranks, their masons are only dangerous in close combat, and they are susceptible to ranged attacks. They are pretty cute when they are not pledging or setting things on fire. Unfortunately, most of the time they are pledging and setting things on fire. Blaze runs are better trained than mace runs. They will brace rods that give them a greater range of attack. They will never win an archery contest against the skeletons, though. Spore medics spread nether spores that make the overworld air breathable for their piglins and heal wounded piglin units. So this expands on the zombie virus thing from the main game, because piglins need the nether environment to breathe. That's interesting. Nether spreaders poison the ground with corrupting red netherite that prevents you from building structures. Once a nether spreader is destroyed, the ground that it has sour can be denethered and reclaimed. The blaze rod tower is a medium range heavy offense structure that must be dealt with from a safe distance unless you don't mind being a tiny bit on fire. Pits deploy pickling units, destroy them quickly to avoid being overwhelmed. You don't have to look too closely to tell that these are that these pits are cobbled together by pickling builders on the battlefield. Okay. The Well of Fate is the hero's first respawn and fast travel point, and the building site for improvement structures. The ancient spring feeds every village fountain sustaining life across the overworld. Resident Tinkerer Knowledge is the creator of the three powerful tools gifted to the hero, so he's a crafting table. Action is the youngest at heart of the three hosts, so they're often more quick to emotion. The host of foresight can see many possible turns of events, but can say what's come with certainty. Blue allies collect restructures, yellow allies build structures. You can build an improvement to have more allies by your side. Remember, the allies are friends, not the vices. That makes sense. Horses are sturdy sidekicks that can sprint indefinitely. It's no wonder horses are adventurers' first choice. They're fast, they're loyal, and they snort when they're happy. Right? Plank columns launch powerful range attacks. Plank on top, plank on top, against pickling units, but are quite vulnerable to direct hits. Some say that plank automatus cuddles are totally worth the splinters. Cobblestone automatus are hardy units that can take down structures easily in large numbers. It turns out that the humble cobblestone has a mighty history. Sp speed width makes you go fast, don't overthink it. Bounce caps. Bounce caps let you jump higher, allowing you to reach the three tops and scale mountains easier. Just make sure their effects don't wear down the don't wear down by the time you land. Regeneration stone have a restorative effect on beings that come near them. It's unclear how all the regeneration stones ended up in the overworld, but it might have something to do with the quarters of the Wheel of Fate. Wall of Fate, not Wheel. Uh, Wonder, oh, Red Thorn, that's an interesting new bit of trivia. Okay. There you go. Now okay. choose the structure that improves your loot to play the Iron Melody. Okay. Improvement Gather Iron enables gather relays to collect iron. Each additional improvement allows you to carry 150 iron. Iron unlocks advanced structures and can be used to spawn grindstone automatas and mossy automatas. The first upgrade grants 25 iron and enables village chest located in forest and dry savanna. An LA chest in any Mayan deck contains iron. Great. Now go ahead and build your iron improvements. Okay. Must be in zone improvement hut. Is this the zone? That's the zone. I don't hate. I don't like how sensitive the building stuff is. With every new melody, your relationship with the Alays grows. This tube will help you mine iron for your building needs. And there you have it. Now you'll be able to collect iron in the world and spawn okay. the new friends whenever you need them. Okay, so map. What's this? Now Regal Tiger. Iron, you can use it to build all sorts of new structures. The piglins are planning something. I know it. The piglins have their eyes on that last oh. village you saved. They're going to need you again. We are completely in the opposite direction. That's great. Okay. It's faster to go this way. Oh. 
Oh, improvement. Got a redstone. I should build my other improvements just in case. So I have gather iron, gather redstone. Oh, I don't have enough resources. That's right. That makes some sense in the context of the game. Right. So I'm heading in that direction. It's pretty interesting to see what um, things there are in the game. So, gather wood. Oh, mountain. How much? Oh, we don't have that much wood. We really should gather more. But I also feel like we should be careful in this area because that can happen. Okay. So we should be careful with mountainous regions. What's this? Gather wood. Holy shit, we we really gather wood. <gasps> Badger. in the banner let's try a few more advanced moves it can give specific commands to specific allies if you need just one type or even just one friend to get the job done give it a try now in the heat of battle you'll need to be ready for anything okay rt to hold banner view all right trigger okay Hold B to direct your mobs to charge. Hold Y to send your mobs to focus on your target. P, Y, press either button to send a single nearby mob. Okay. Range mobs. Feels different here. The Melee mobs. Changing, but to what end is not yet clear to me. All mobs, special mobs. Legendary mobs. The key. Charge. Okay. That's pretty interesting to know. Okay. Gather wood. What? Okay. Where the fuck are these guys? Wait, what's this? Okay, I'll have to check this that later. Oh, this is a chest. Oh, 
Oh my god. Where the fuck are the piglins? That's diamonds. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Can I just pause and save? Save and leave. Okay. So, unfortunately, this is going to be it for this episode because um, I already am almost to the hour mark and I feel like taking down that outpost would really push me forward further than I nor I need to because um, I, I still need to edit this video and have breakfast and um, you know I'm very hungry, so I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and um, make sure to come back and check out the Discord in the description for more. Uh, thank you everyone for watching, and uh, see you guys in the next one.